Hola, welcome back to my Spanish kitchen. This is where I have fun making super tasty dishes, all based on Spain's incredibly healthy Mediterranean diet. So if you're interested in learning some Spanish classics, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below and join me today as we make sopa de calabaza, or roasted butternut squash soup. It's popular all over Spain, especially when the weather gets super chilly and cold like it is outside today. It makes a wonderful warm addition to a meal and it's incredibly easy to prepare. Begins with a butternut squash that weighs about two to two and a half pounds or one kilo. I'm also going to add two sweet potatoes, one onion, a couple of carrots, the zest of an orange, this amazing, amazingly fragrant sage that I picked out of the garden this morning. It'll be a beautiful garnish, a lot of fun to add. Some vegetable broth, three spices, pimenton, classically Spanish, saffron, classically Spanish, and some sumac, which is typically something you add to a dish when you want to have a, the tartness of a lemon, but not the sharpness of the lemon, and a little bit of Mediterranean sea salt. And that's it. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is prepare all the vegetables for the roasting pan. And that means trimming the squash, the carrots, the potatoes, and the onion, throwing them on a cookie sheet and putting them in the oven for about 30 minutes. So that's what we'll begin with. I've got everything diced up in big chunks. The size is less important, but the consistency is. So make sure when you do this, everything is about the same so that it all cooks pretty evenly. I'm putting everything in this baking pan. I'm gonna even it all out. Then I'm gonna add olive oil, of course, and salt. And this will help release some of the sweetness of it. There's many ways you can do this. One way is to slice the uh, butternut squash in half and leave it open-faced with some olive oil and salt. I like to do it this way because one of the biggest advantages of roasting is to get all that caramelization of the flavors. And the more open surfaces you have, the more caramelization, more browning, and the other advantage is cooks about twice as fast. So I'm going to put this in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven, 200 centigrade, and let this cook for about a half an hour. It should be tender by that time. Once that's done, we simply start to assemble the soup and we're pretty well ready to go. So I'll see you in a half an hour. It smells ready. It looks ready. Wow. Take a look. Very nice. The next thing is we're going to let this cool for a second. I've turned the heat on to the oil, but very little, a low heat, while I add the aromatics. And what I'm adding is sumac, which is one of my all-time favorites. And you can see that bubbling a little bit. It's gonna release a lot of flavor. That was a half a teaspoon of sumac, half a teaspoon of pimenton, and a generous tablespoon of salt. Stir these around a little bit. And the point is just to get them to release some of their flavor before we start adding all the squash and the sweet potatoes and the onions. Everything looks nicely cooked. A little bit of brown, which is great because that will mean we'll have some caramelization. And there's so much more flavor when you roast these vegetables. And you could have put them in a pot and cooked them with the broth, but I don't think it gives nearly as much flavor as it does when you do it this way. And I'll add a little bit at a time.
Now we're ready to add the steeped saffron and that liquid is like liquid gold. I'm going to add one liter of vegetable broth. I always love to add a little bit of orange zest because it brings out the amazing flavors of the squash, marries really nicely with the sumac, and of course, that little bit of spice from the pimenton. And by the way, I used the pimenton smoky, not the sweet, because there's a few different types of pimenton in Spain. They're all used, but this one, I wanted that smoky flavor because it's the fall and it feels like outdoorsy, and that'll be a nicer blend of things. I'm gonna let this cook together, warm up, and get nice and blended for about 15 minutes. Doesn't need any more than that because we've already cooked all of the ingredients. It just gives them a chance to get comfortable with each other. And then I'm going to use the immersion blender. We'll give it a few pulses to get it nice and smooth, strain it, and we're ready for lunch. I'm pulsing this with my immersion blender. If you don't have one and you have a regular blender, that's easy to do too. Just do it in batches so that you don't overwhelm your blender. This is so much more convenient for me though. I love doing it this way. And this just takes a couple of minutes to get it nice and smooth. I'm being a little careful because it's a pretty full pot of soup. This took me about five minutes to get this blended pretty smooth. The beauty of this, of course, is super easy to clean. And now I wanna taste it and see how well the blended seasonings are. I can taste the orange, but I can taste the saffron. And a little bit of that sumac makes it nice and tangy. I think it's just right. I'm not gonna add anything else. We're all set to strain this. Now George likes it nice and chunky. I like it like nice and smooth. And for today, we're just going to strain it a little bit to get all that beautiful flavor without any of that, those stringy bits. It's very easy to do, so why not? While I'm doing this, I have to tell you another secret. There's all kinds of wonderful Spanish dishes that I could choose for the fall, but I picked this soup, and in particular, a pumpkin-based soup, because I got this new pot, and it's absolutely adorable. And I couldn't wait to use it, so I decided this was the recipe to be able to inaugurate my pumpkin pot in. I'm all ready for the finishing touches of a garnish. We're gonna add a little dollop of creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. Just for a little added creaminess. A couple of these fried sage leaves to remind us of the flavor and a bit of olive oil. Mm. I just want a little bit of olive oil on here just to show off the season. Thanks so much for joining me in the kitchen today. Hope you get a chance to try the soup soon and enjoy it when the weather's nice and chilly. Salud!